Hello everyone, this is Zoom JPW Gaming and welcome back to a brand new video. Just pretty much uh just bringing up some nostalgia basically. It's been 5 years since Call of the Dead had released on Xbox Live. And although I wasn't too huge into zombies at the time, that's when I sort of joined in because and this whole video is basically just going to be talking about a little bit of nostalgia towards call of the dead and where i actually started with zombies and what got me into zombies so at the time this time five years ago i was in dallas texas and i uh, believe it or not i was actually meeting robert england and this was before i was a huge uh fan into zombies and such like that, and I really had no sort of, like, interest into zombies at the time. Uh, a couple buddies of mine and such like that, they owned Call of Duty, uh, I think it was Black Ops, yeah, it was, duh, it was Black Ops at the time, but I think, um, a couple of my other buddies, they started off with, uh, what was it, MW2, I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, either way, it was the Call of Duty beforehand, and, uh, yeah, like, I was just wanting to sort of get into, uh, the thing, let a couple other people from school that was playing these games, and I was just kind of wanting to fit in in such of the ways, <laughs> excuse me, anyways, um, and so at the time, like, I didn't even have it, and I was just kind of saving up for it every now and then, uh, but other things kind of got in the way, so I really didn't get Black Ops until a while later. However, friends of mine sent me messages and messages and messages saying, like, what is, what's your problem? Because, like, and I'm sort of, like, getting out of track right now. Um, But the reason why I was meeting Robert England in Ta Dallas, Texas, was at a convention called Texas Frightmare Weekend. Fun fact... The Frightmare Weekend is actually happening, uh, well, actually over the weekend, the past weekend, and the day I was coming home was the day that it, uh, Call of the Dead had released, but, like I said, I wasn't into zombies at the time, so I had no, uh, no, like, notice or, I didn't know that Robert England was gonna be in this thing that I love so much, uh, something that's so dear to my heart now, current days, and, uh, way back then, when I met Robert, and obviously everybody's there to see him because he was Freddy, and I still think of him to Freddy, I don't, I don't necessarily compare him to Call of the Dead, thinking like, oh, that's the guy that was in Call of the Dead, not like, oh, that's Freddy, <laughs> um, Anyways, back to what my friends was saying. My friends was sending me messages and messages saying like, hey, did you know that uh, the guy that played Freddy Krueger is in this uh, Call of Duty? Uh, Call of Duty? Um, and I was like, no, what are you talking about? And like at the time, like I really didn't play a whole lot of uh, at least first person shooters, I for sure didn't play many Call of the Dead, uh, I'm sort of getting Call, uh, Call of the Dead and, uh, Call of Duty confused, but anyways, <clears throat> uh, I, I certainly didn't play Call of the, I did it again, I certainly didn't play Call of Duty at the time, at least of yet, and, uh, so anyways, I went to a buddy's house, and he actually had the game, he had the DLC, as well as Ascension, but I was just like, eh, I don't really care about Ascension, <laughs> fun fact, um, at the time, by the way, I'm gonna put that in there, at the time, anyways, um, so, I, pl I got to play Call of the Dead the first time, and we restarted it and restarted it and restarted it till I got to play as uh, Robert England. And at the time, of course, first starting out, complete, complete noob. Oh my god. Because, like, I don't think I could make it very far to the point where I just kind of gave up and watched him play it because he was a little bit more experienced, especially than I was at the time. And so that's when I started thinking, okay, I really, really need to get this game. 
So that's where it kind of started off for me. Like, if it wasn't for Call of the Dead, I don't honestly know what I would be into at the point. Because, I mean, like I stated, I was going to eventually go towards uh, playing Call of Duty in general. But I had no interest in the zombies portion. I was just seeing like, oh, everybody had this game just because it's the game. I had no notice of zombies or whatever is in there. And at the time, like, I didn't know about call uh, Xbox Live and such like that. I didn't really have internet, especially like what I have now uh, <laughs> with what internet I do have in that portion. But um, it was just... It just makes you wonder, like, if paths weren't set like they are and how they follow through, then where would we be right now? Just thinking about my channel, if I didn't start with Call of the Dead and thinking, this is amazing, I want to play more, and then so I played Ascension, I played Kino, well, <laughs> I went from... Call of the Dead all the time. And then I was like, okay, I want to play something a little bit different. So I played Kino. I loved that. I played Five. I loved that. I played... I think I went with uh, Resurrection was the second DLC I actually bought. And then I went to Shangri-La. I loved all that. And by the way, like the first time getting to play the World at War maps was fan. Fantastic. I was thinking, just thinking, oh my god, I've missed out my whole life on this thing uh, for like these years. And that was a, um, let's see, that was a two year gap compared from World at War to Black Ops 1. Um, but I was just thinking, like, I went from, anyways, I went from Resurrection, or I went from Call of the Dead to the Resurrection DLC map pack, and then I went to Shangri-La, and then I went to Ascension, and then I just kind of played that for a long, long time, to the point where literally my Black Ops 1 disc has a crack straight through it. The disc is so scratched up, you will not believe it. Well, if you play any game for a long, long period of time, obviously it's going to start wearing down, and it made me just worry and worry and worry all the time, just worrying about when this disc was actually going to break. And thankfully enough, like through all of these years, it never did break or never did stop working, surprisingly. But the one thing that did stop working was the 360. Sadly, rip, rest in peace. And uh, now with the discontinuation of the uh, 360s, it makes me a little bit sad thinking about like all the good times I've had through buddies and stuff like that, playing zombies and playing all the Call of Duties going back and through and it's just really good times just to think about and it's been a very long journey. Just thinking about five years, that's not even considering where I started through with uh, YouTube, it's just like uh, the times I've had with zombies myself before I did YouTube, and the times I've had with Call of Duty in general before I had YouTube. And it's it's exciting to think about that there's things that just happen <laughs> in a way. It makes you wonder, like I said, what would happen if this didn't happen? What would happen if Robert England was not in Call of the Dead? I don't know. I could be like a freaking trick shotter or something like that right now. Who knows, but... Uh, let's see. Before I ramble on too much, there was something I really, really wanted to mention about the thing. Well, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, I was planning on doing a little Call of the Dead mod that was going to come out this day, but unfortunately, uh, I wanted to just sort of put it back for a little bit more time uh, just so I can sort of get more uh, stuff into the mod, make it a little bit more special because originally it was just going to be the pea shooter and if you don't know what that is from my previous like the World at War mods, it's the M1927 
the Tommy Gunn Chicago typewriter speakeasy. And I implied that into the mod, and that's basically that was all going to be in it. But, I mean, the map is very special to me, obviously. And it's just, I want to do something that sort of honors it. Uh, but really, like, I don't want to change a whole lot about it because that's what started me. That's what made me into this game, uh, into zombies, and uh, more to come throughout the future towards zombies, hopefully. And, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> before I ramble on or go a little bit more nostalgic, anyways, uh, it's been five years. May the 3rd, 2011? Yeah, 2011. And today is 2016 on May the 3rd. And it's exciting. Times pass and things start and things are new. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, if you have some favorite moments through Call of the Dead, being any kind... Please drop it down in the in the comments. I would really like to see it. And so, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video before I ramble on a little bit more. And I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.